Welcome back friends. We are on our fourth topic, household. And this is probably the topic that we have argued the most about in our marriage. Yeah, which is strange. I know, we don't tend Seems. to argue about like the typical money or sex or it's household duties and the expectations and yep. my resentments that <laughs> almost everything household <laughs> seems to land on me. It's not your job. <laughs> I, I think, yes, no, it, we've learned. I think, um, I mean, I grew up with a mom that was um, pretty much on her own till I was uh, late teens. Um, so a single mom um, who did everything. You know, she cooked and cleaned and we had chores, of course. We helped out, but... Two kids. Two, Preface, just two, two of two us, kids. yeah, till I was 14. My mom remarried and we inherited a couple more kids and then it was a little different. But I, you know, growing up, I didn't have that father figure and I don't know that it would have been great anyway because I think my father would have probably felt the way I felt is women have their duties and men have their duties and I'll mow the lawn and she does the dishes and laundry and clean the house and take care of the kids and I'll watch football on Sunday. Like, I mean, <laughs> isn't that what we're supposed to do? I'll make sure the cars work and, and it turns out I don't know how to work on cars. So I think um, we had to discuss that and we discussed it a lot because we both work now and it's like, okay, so it's not really her job to do the dishes and you know, you've heard the saying sex starts in the kitchen or romance starts in the kitchen and there's some truth to that. For some women, absolutely. Yeah. Um, but, but it's not romantic. It not for it's me. For me to do the dishes. Um, and some of my resentment. Well, let me back up. I grew up in a similar family. I was the oldest of twelve with a mom who stayed home, who did everything related to the house, and my dad went to work. Um, and that worked for me too for a while when the kids were young. And then Ryan and I got married, and my career started to build, and I started writing and running a nonprofit and creating a documentary, and I was like really fulfilled by all of that. Yeah but still taking on 98% of the household duties and thinking this is really fulfilling me. Whereas, you know, running the house, you don't get a lot of affirmation <laughs> like, thanks mom, this is a great dinner. Or, thanks for doing my laundry. Whereas like- <laughs> The kids don't say that? They don't. That's crazy. You don't either. <laughs> so, <laughs> so of course I'm leaning into this career where people are, are patting me on the back and, and affirming saying, you. affirming me and, thinking I don't really want to do all this household stuff anymore nobody affirms me nobody tells me what I'm doing is great or amazing or right and I would do the dishes and look for my gold star yeah like, I, I honey I did the dishes today what else do you need one of our fights was I was like I don't know why I have to say thank you for doing the dishes nobody <laughs> thanks me for doing anything around here and you were like what why wouldn't you say thank you to me? I'm for helping doing the you. I'm helping you out. <laughs> so that's where household came in. Like, maybe that is romance for some women. It's not for me. It's just part of the daily grind of our life, like doing the dishes and the laundry. And we're still a work in progress in this area. Yeah. I mean, we have too much on our plates. We know this, but we've taken some steps to yeah. help alleviate some of the stress and the burden i think part of it is is as a man i had to reevaluate and think i'm not helping her with the household it's our job to make sure that our household runs so if i help with laundry then i've got it wrong because it should just be our job so we have to divide it and conquer and that doesn't happen in our house i mean jess does still do more than 50 percent of the work around the house but we talk about it and you know we go back and forth and i vomit when it gets she vomits too when much. i haven't paid enough have attention my knee to jerk that reaction and you know there might be households out there though where the woman is the stay at home household manager or and the man joy or the baby. man um yeah. i mean there are a lot more stay at home dads now who that is your role in the family and there is nothing wrong with that if yeah. that works for your situation but if you have two working individuals who yeah. want to work you need to figure out a better way yeah. and our kids have chores too and there's nothing wrong with that like, no no they they need to learn to do their own laundry and take some of that burden off mm -hmm. of you um, but i think i think initially what you got to do is you got to write it down like these are the things that have to take place every day 
how do we divide this up? Because it's it's not going to be equal shares, I promise. Uh, because if she starts to write the list of the things that she does in a day, my mind is blown. It's like I couldn't possibly. I did do that once what you for did. you, and it was like a hundred things <laughs> within the week. I was like, "This is what I do." Right. <laughs> Okay. But it, Can we it, not talk about this anymore? Right. It did make an impact, though, because I didn't know that. I didn't realize how much it took. And I think every once in a while, take a day and do it. Mm -hmm. Like, give her a day off and find out. Um, I think we joked about this, and this might even be in the book, where I did the dishes one morning, and I was like, good grief. There's so many things in here. Utensils and pots and pans and good grief. How do I, like, honey... I that did all a... these dishes, and then I realized, oh, but she dirtied all these dishes, all making dinner and <laughs> doing all these things. And and this this was after the kids put up their stuff. So this was just from the work she had already done, mm -hmm. and I was bitter about it because I had to do the dishes. But I realized, oh wow, that was a lot more work than what I just did. Uh, so talk about it. We fight. We still fight about it. Don't don't think you got it, that we have it figured out. We don't. It, it's an ongoing struggle. But marriage is tough. It's hard. But you want to pursue those things and talk about them, and it makes it a little easier. And implement some solutions. I mean, we've we like I said, we still don't have it completely figured out. But the kids do have chores. They have an after school chore and an after dinner chore. They are responsible for doing their own laundry. They each have a laundry day. Um, and we've we've hired some help uh for luke a couple of nights a week but we've had to make sacrifices mm -hmm. we're not driving brand new vehicles um we don't go out for dinner very often um you know i make most of the meals at home because help is a huge priority in our life so yeah. and we recognize it's for a season um you know the plan is for luke to to fly the coop here in a few years and the kids will continuously fly the coop and we're just kind God of holding will. on, right? <laughs> Annabelle might live with us forever. <laughs> um, so anyway, um, hopefully you can glean something from our mistakes. Yes. And but we also have eight kids, uh, so it, your yours is going to be very different probably than ours. Um, but again, communicate those things. Talk about them. Find some happy medium in there somewhere mm -hmm. where you guys both feel like you're doing your part. And there are solutions. You just have to For pursue everybody. them. Yep. Yeah. And okay. yours will be different than ours. Yeah, definitely. Okay, well, yeah. that's it for household. We will be back for excitement. We'll see you soon. Very exciting.